I am a huge Dickens fan. I think I first read, started reading him at school, and then I, I did a, an English and drama degree, so then I spent a lot of time reading Dickens uh, as part of my degree course. But um, it was never a chore. Some authors are, but um, never with Dickens, because he's just the most sublime storyteller. Take that thing off your face, she put it back. Here, and give me hold of the skulls. I'll take the rest of the spell. No, father, no. No, I can't indeed, father. I cannot sit so near it. He was moving towards her to change places, but her terrified expostulation stopped him, and he resumed his seat. Um, Our Mutual Friend is, is not one of the better-known novels. Um, although I think it's one of his best novels. And it starts with um, a body being dragged out of the Thames. And this body, it is thought to be the body of a, a young man called John Harmon, who was on his way back to reclaim a vast inheritance. It escaped his attention, for he was glancing over the stern at something the boat had in tow. That's the hardest part with Dickens, is to find, when you're reading it, the, the different voices. I think I've so far done 24 variations of Cockney. There's lots of passages where he addresses the reader in direct address, as if he's stepping out of the book and saying, you need to listen to this. But my goodness, he does wring a tear from your eye several times in this book. I mean, he, his, his compassionate heart is really on show in this book. <laughs> 